I just feel like closure was given and gotten and I'm good with that. So, you know, for the ongoing conversations and to keep in touch, I'm just I'm just not that type of person. You know what I'm saying? And when I see you, we can definitely speak. Hey, how you doing? But as far as like going out of our ways to communicate, that's just not necessary to me. And I'm just going to keep it 100. Y'all really be taking it there. And it don't be me. It be y'all. I ain't got shit to do with shit when shit ain't got shit to do with me. You know the vibes. It's Jay. Hand me the lighter. I'm about to get litter than a bitch. Big, big period. Are you serious? These hoes are acting all delirious. And I ain't. You know the vibes. What's going on, Jay Squad? Plum Squad. It's, it's your girl, Jay. Jay. You already know. Welcome back to Jay Vibes. Where's a whole lot of great vibes going on. Big period. You guys, I'm trying to like give y'all some content, not to say I've never done this type of content before, but content other than, you know, reaction videos because I do have a reaction channel for that specifically. And you still will get reaction videos from my main channel. I'm about to switch it up, okay? So this is about to be a Q&A, but you already knew that. Come on now. Yeah. <laughs> Reading is fundamental and seeing is believing. But this is an updated Q&A that I asked my Instagram and YouTube back in like May. So before we get into this video, you guys, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel. I try to let it roll off my tongue, but S's don't roll. Anyways, please make sure you also give this video a thumbs up, a like. Make sure you comment your love and your feedback in the comment section. And while you're scrolling down, click the links in my description. Give me an orange heart for this cute orange blouse that I am wearing. It's like a burnt orange, like a... It's like a burnt orange. all that good stuff and let's get into the video i got me some wine because i just feel real cute and classy today i don't want to be nasty but i just i just know y'all and i just know these questions gonna make me reveal the nasty in me but i'm gonna drink my wine what kind of wine is it i really don't know i do know that it's a cab because i love caps so yeah question number one poly relationships Question mark, question mark in your feelings. And y'all, every time Polly comes up, I have to look it up. Not to say that I don't know what it is, but I just got to make sure that I know for sure that that's not what I'm into because I'm not into Polly relationships. And what does Google say? Having multiple loving, no. It's the multiple for me, no. At the same time, no, I cannot do that. And my feelings on it, I'm too selfish. I'm too selfish of a lover, okay? I don't want to share nobody. And I don't want nobody to share me. And I literally, the way I'm set up, I'm going to get caught up, okay? I'm going to get caught up. You're going to be like, yo, what changed? We usually talk every day and yesterday we didn't talk. And why? And I can't even lie. I'm going to be like, yeah. I don't know. It's not. I, I can't like. I can't even sit here and think of something that I would say because the shit don't make no sense. But I'm not into being with multiple people at one time, loving someone, loving multiple people at one time. Cause I don't want that shit done to me. Okay, that shit is not cool, and I'm just too selfish. Like. No, I don't think that shit is cute. That shit don't turn me on. I don't like juggling people. That shit is a headache. Okay, it's stressful as fuck. And I really don't be giving a fuck too much to be trying to deal with two people at one time. Somebody, if not everybody, will get cut the fuck off. Next question. Oh, next question is not a question, but you wanted to say that you're so proud of what I'm doing, big things. Next question. Y'all be reaching. Y'all really be taking it there. And it don't be me. It be y'all. I ain't got shit to do with shit when shit ain't got shit to do with me. You wanted to know what is my love language. I'm still learning my love language. And I would say number one is affection. I love affection. Whether it's physical affection, whether it's verbal affection, I love it. You know what I'm saying? Let me know how you feel. Touch me. Please touch me, okay? Your fans really do love you, big period. Mm, 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 mm. Baby, I don't have fans. I mean, I do have fans, but I really love and appreciate my supporters. Fans, okay, cool. 
But supporters, I love and appreciate my supporters. I just feel like it's a difference. I feel like a supporter will literally support you when you're wrong and when you're right. You know what I'm saying? So when you're wrong, they're not going to like bash you, unsubscribe from you, unfollow you, wherever the, may, wherever the case may be, right? They'll support you when you're wrong, when you're right. They'll tell you when you're wrong. They'll tell you when you're right. A fan... They waiting for a fuck up, okay? I feel like a fan is literally someone that is itching for a back and forth confrontation with you. Um, a fan, they'll literally, they'll literally do anything and everything just to be noticed from you, by you. It's just, I don't really like the word fan because it's just, it's creepy. You know what I'm saying? But a supporter, that's different. Next question, when are you getting married? No time soon. Next question. Damn, y'all. I don't have no beef. I haven't even spoken to her in a long time. And I don't I don't care. I'm cool. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like... I just honestly feel like earlier last year, I gave her the opportunity to actually reach out and say her apologies. And, you know, we were being cordial at that time. But, you know, as time went on, I think she may have thought and that wasn't the case i just feel like closure was given and gotten and i'm good with that so you know for the ongoing conversations and to keep in touch i'm just i'm just not that type of person you know what i'm saying when i see you we can definitely speak hey how you doing but as far as like going out of our ways to communicate that's just not necessary to me and i'm just gonna keep it 100 how do you stay so fit? I have a very high metabolism. That's one thing that helps me. But number two, I actually do love fitness. That's why I have a fitness channel. And I actually go to the gym. I just work out. I don't eat out a whole lot. I don't really eat fast food. I don't eat beef at all. I don't eat pork at all. Next question. How does it feel to know that your channel is constantly growing? New supporters, new subscribers. How does it feel? It feels amazing. I really don't have the words to fully explain how it how it feels but i'm there mm, this wine is getting to my speech i'm very grateful um just to be able to have this platform and to see that it constantly is growing to see new subscribers do come in you know from videos that i don't even expect new subscribers from but um it definitely is like a great feeling you know what i'm saying very humbling because no matter how many subscribers I got, no matter how many views I get, no matter what the YouTube chat look like, you know what I'm saying? I still work my nine to five job. I'm still willing to like help out other people when it comes to their platform, whether it's advice or whether it's a, a, a promo, whether it's a shout out. I feel very grateful, but at the same time, I'm still very humble. So yeah next question how are you mentally mentally i am i'm good mentally for the simple fact that i'm just like anyone else you know what i'm saying i am human i do go through my own things um i have to like find myself making sure that you know what i'm saying i'm taking care of my mental so sometimes when i take a break it's because like i've been needing a break I recently got into meditation and I actually love it. I'm not into it as much as I would like to be, but I know that if I keep, you know, being consistent with it, then um, it will come natural to me to just naturally meditate. But um, mentally, at this moment right now, I can say that I'm okay. So there's things that do be on my mind things that could stress me out but I don't allow it to stress me out there's things that I could be overthinking but I try not to overthink it um but overall yes I am doing okay and thank you so much for asking next question time to get into the freak stuff but my my favorite sex position toot that thing up mama make it roll once you pop lock I like to be bent over I really like it it's just like it gives me naughty vibes, like talk that shit, choke me from behind, make my back arch. I don't know, it's just, it's the suspense. Cause it's kind of like, you can't see me and I can't see you. But if I was to look back at it, peek a boo, you know, I just, mm. Bend me over always and forever, okay? Uh, I like to be bent over. 
And I like to um I like to go down south too. Them my two favorite positions in today's time. I like to be bent over and I like to go down to the get down. All right, now these questions are gonna come from YouTube. Let me see what, what you guys had to ask. What things do you do in your spare time? In my spare time, I work out. I cupcake on the phone with my baby. Uh, I don't know if videos count for my spare time. I do videos. Cause like if I'm not working my nine to five, then I'm doing videos. And if I'm not doing videos, I'm at my nine to five or I'm working out or I'm out of town, uh, either visiting family or whatever the case may be. And um, yeah, 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 yeah. For the most part, that's what I'm doing. I do a lot of planning. I do a lot of planning and trying to reorganize, you know, my life for the next three, six months because I like. I like to plan ahead like I literally have two whiteboard calendars for the month right now and then next month like I'm always trying to plan ahead and my plans never go as I plan them but within all of that I try to just to stay positive and you know what I'm saying it's just it's just a roller coaster with the things that I want to do and the things that God has set up for me to do so it's just kind of like I just want to eventually just let it flow you know what i'm saying it's kind of like this is what i want and god like girl bring your ass right back on down and chill out and i'll be like all right so then i'm just on the wave that god set for me i don't know it's just i don't, don't, don't want to talk about it i don't want to talk. i really don't want to talk about it what's your favorite sport oh my favorite sport I want to say track. I really, really, really miss running track. Um, I really wish I would have took it serious. Like, when I think about high school, when I think even about middle school, I just really wish a lot of different things. And I can't take all of the blame because everything and everyone around me played a, a big part in my life. And I'm not trying to blame anyone because I definitely do blame myself, but I'm just saying I can't, I just can't take the blame for everything. But I really wish, like, a lot of the stuff that was going on in my life, I had a better way of going through the stuff that was going on in my life. I wish the adults in my life took more responsibility of the things that they were doing. Um,. Because I just, and then the, my, the question was, what's my favorite sport? Why the fuck am I getting emotional? I just really like, I cannot believe that I didn't take advantage of my youth. You know what I'm saying? I did not take advantage of my youth. My favorite sport is track though. And I definitely wish I would have took track or basketball seriously. Because of where I lived at during the time, I was afraid of being rejected from my friends you know what i'm saying i was i was afraid of rejection and i didn't want that rejection to turn into me being bullied again so i kind of like just was trying to fit in you know so yeah i didn't really care to make the a on a roll i didn't really care to have perfect attendance i didn't really care to be the teacher's pet i really didn't care to be I didn't care to be none of that shit, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, favorite sport, basketball, and track. I know I kind of got off track with the question, but child, it just, it just hit me. Like this one, it just, it just hit me. Such a fucking cry, baby. Do you still work a full-time job? Yes, I do. I do work a full-time job. Sunday through Wednesday. And sometimes I pick up Friday, sometimes I pick up Saturday because that check means everything to me. Oh. It's crazy because I think I want a part-time job, but I, the, the way my schedule is set up, ain't nobody gonna hire me. They gonna be like, okay, so when can you work? Because if I was a, if I was to get a part-time job, I only wanna work Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and I only wanna work two weeks out of the whole month. So who's, who's gonna do that? Nobody's gonna do that. Nobody's gonna hire me with those type of standards and requirements. They're gonna be like, who the fuck are you? Do you have a boo? You're gorgeous. Yes, I do have a lady friend. I do have a lady friend. Yes, but you already knew that. And thank you for the compliment. Next question and the last question. Where your girl at? 
Okay, you guys, I do not have a girlfriend, okay? I don't. What's understood I don't have to be explained, but I don't have a girlfriend. So yeah. Just like that awkward squeaking sound. Anywho, you guys, this sums everything up. This just closes. This clo This closes, okay, the Q&A video. Updated Q&A video, whatever you want to say. This wine, what kind of wine is this? This thing is getting me little, a little lit day for the titty. I need to stop drinking wine early in the day. It's, it's not even 3.30, y'all, and I'm drinking this wine. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that these questions were good enough for you to watch from beginning to the end. You know what I'm saying? Good enough for you because I know how y'all act when y'all be over there acting, watching, skipping. Yeah. And if you did watch this video from beginning to the end, like I said, let me get an orange heart in the comment section, you guys. Please make sure you subscribe, like, comment, share. And your bell is turned on for all post notifications. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thank you so much for those who asked me these questions. And I hope that you have a great day, a blessed day. Stay safe, stay clean. I'm talking about you. I know the vibes, big period, a lot of great vibes going on. And I'm signing out to this video. Peace. Nah, I ain't conceited. I'm a different breed. Catch you slipping, best belief. I don't need no reason. I'ma cut the ties, ho. Turn your wife to my ho. Just focus on you. Baby girl, <laughs> J Vibes, you know the vibes, you know the fuck going on, and I'm at this bitch.